Welcome to your activation, Cancer. Okay, uh, we are um, going to be doing the activation at the end of the video. Almost forgot what I was going to say then. Um, so please stick around, okay? And um, yeah, and get this activation because it's what you need right now. Okay, so we're using Work Your Light Oracle cards and I've pulled specifically out the activation cards for this reading. Okay, um, Sacred Spirit reading cards and the Light Seer's Tarot. Okay, so let's get into it here, Cancer. Um, if you see any other um, activations that grab you, even if it's not your star sign, please go and do those as well. Cancer, because there is probably something in there that you need, which is why you are drawn to that. Okay, um, yeah, let's get into it. Wow, mindful wisdom, create inner harmony. Look at this beautiful card here, Cancer. This is what we're starting out with. Like, I <laughs> wonder what your activation is going to be. Holy heck. Um, you know, I feel like Cancer, this is about you tapping into your wisdom. Um, for some of you, there's something inside of you that um, sort of, I don't want to say stops this connection, but doubts the connection. It, it, it's as though you need to have more faith um, because I feel like cancer that you may look at other people and think, wow, they have this amazing thing going on. And the fact of the matter is that you have that plus some, but it's actually your own self-doubt that gets in the way of that. Um I don't really feel like you see, I think you see yourself as a little sparrow, not as a wise owl, to be honest. I feel like an, a wise owl is just something that you would aspire to be, but would never actually be. But in fact, you are. Cancer. Tell me more about one mindful wisdom for cancer, please. Create inner harmony. Okay. Cancer, what did I just tell you? Ten of wands, put the burden down. Okay. We also have the emperor here. Okay. So it could be that there's an Aries in your life. I want to say cancer. Cancer. Counselor, <laughs> uh, I want to say cancer. Um, interesting, because I notice he's holding the king here. And there's no other pieces on the board. He's the only one playing. He doesn't let anyone play with him. He doesn't let anyone mess with him. He is the sole player of his game. You know, there's no mind games. There's no emotional games. There's no mental, you know, garbage back and forth. He just sits knowing that he has his empire. And he rules that, em that kingdom like there is no tomorrow. Gee, actually, he looks like he's even sitting on a planet here. I was going to say it's the world, but it doesn't look like the world. But he's sitting, well, it's the world. It's the world. He owns the world. You know, like he's he's just got it down packed, you know. Um, I just wonder if for some of you there's an Aries who's a little bit in your ear. Um, maybe, but that might not be for all of you, but that could be some of you. Anyhow, we have the Ten of Wands here as well. And um, you see... This this emperor here, he would um what he would do in this circumstance, uh, is he would let the buffalo release the load, and he'd probably hop on the buffalo and use the buffalo to ride himself up the hill because 
the, Im the emperor here, he lights these lights here. Okay, these to me represent wands. Okay, and he's a fire sign. So he lights these with his fire that he's got going on, like his just his magical thing that, well, it's not even magic because it's who he is. Um, and, and he lights those and off he goes trotting up the hill, right? So he would know exactly how to manage these ten of wands. And I feel like that what is important for you is to use this mindful wisdom to put the baggage down to leave the baggage behind because at the end of the day, when you get to the, the you know, the emperor, you ain't going to need it, okay? <laughs> um, but, you know, a wise owl would see, would be able to fly up and see that, that you know, over that hill is this, this empire that is ready and waiting and everything that they need is there, okay? It's carrying this baggage that is not needed, okay? Um, spirit messages obs observe limitations. See, this, this is the limitation here. This is the limitation. This baggage that has been lugged around, it doesn't need to be lugged around. The other thing I want to say is I feel like, Cancer, you really need to clear your energy. Um, there might be some patterns, repeating patterns that are causing... Um, and it could be from this baggage here. It could be from the past. Um that it's, it's, it's difficult for you to see a clear path, okay? It's difficult for you to rise up like the owl or tap into that owl energy. Um, yeah, because it's like once you clear that energy, you're going to realize that you're not a hummingbird. You're actually an owl. Mm, very interesting. I think that's a hummingbird. Anyway... Let's pretend it is for the moral of the story, right? Observe your limitations. Yeah. Tell me more about this spirit messages. Ace of Pentacles. Look at this. A, a new beginning. A new beginning in, um, it could be work. It could be building something, a business. It could be, but a new beginning. A, you know, building a solid foundation. Because look at these roots. You know, where are you planting your seeds? You know, what are you growing here? You know, um, this guy, no doubt. This one here has that internal knowing, right? And I feel like this is the case for you. You have this internal knowing, Cancer. And it's a matter of tapping into that, okay? King of Cups. Love it. Look at this. You've got the Emperor and the King of Cups here. Holy moly, Cancer. And the Ace, Ace of Pentacles. This is growing something incredible. Quite frankly. Absolutely incredible. Whether it's a relationship, whether it's a business, it's something that you love. It is something that you really love. Um... Really, yeah, I just feel like this is you planting the seeds of what it is you want to grow here, Cancer. We've got expansion. Educate your mind and senses. Look at this. This person is inside the world, right? Kind of like pushing the world apart like splitting something in two. What is going on here? Expansion. Educate your mind and senses. There's some sort of connection. There's some sort of connection here that can't be broken. And whether that's with the spirit world or with another person, on the earth realm, I'm not too sure, um, but, but educate your mind and, and senses, I feel like this is something to do with, with the spirit world, with a connection with, um, I want to say source, but I feel like it's something other than that, um, 
we have, we've got the Ten of Swords here. This is these, this is this burden again. See, this is this burden, and I feel like maybe this is overthinking, okay, and letting those those thoughts just float past you, float, not not actually allow them into your mind, yeah. Um, we've got the Eight of Wands as well. I've yeah okay I feel as though when you are able to place down this burden and not let this you know get in your mind um to be a burden in your mind the connection that you are going to make here is going to be very very easy you're going to be actually surprised um that to realize that you are the owl well, no, that's not right. You're going to be surprised how easy it is for you to accept that you're the owl. And you're going to sit in that, not in cockiness, but you're going to sit in that with pride and claim it. You know, like this dude here doing that, you know, you're going to be, you're going to own it. And it's going to be an absolutely incredible thing to witness. Illuminate the shadow. Focus on a solution. Yeah. See, these are these parts of ourselves that we don't want to um, that we don't want to see. We don't want anyone else to see. Um, I do see the outline of an eagle here. I I also see an owl in here, and a lion. Um, and these are all very powerful animals in their own right. Um, I feel like this is you looking at, at things very honestly. Um, looking at yourself very honestly as well. Tell me more about Illuminate the Shadow for Cancer, please. Tell me more about this. Because it feels like shed the light you know shed the light on those on the burdens on the thoughts that are just not serving you um so that you can be free and maybe that's what you know the message here is but let's have a look knight of pentacles yep have a look very interesting because i just this came out in gemini was it gemini no it might have been i don't know one of the other ones anyway um and a completely different message to what's coming through now dropping dropping all that stuff that is weighing you down dropping all the things that no longer serve you you know being fully aware i want to say though being fully aware of what it is you are letting go like doing that consciously okay not kind of just zoning out and hoping it goes away i feel like this is something that needs to be a conscious um letting go of in a sense, it's kind of like going through the baggage and going, okay, because there might be some things in here. There might be seeds in here that you could plant, um, that, you know, that you could grow, right? Because if you look here, oh, I thought it was the same as this bag, but it's not. Dang it, it's the same colour. I was about to make a really good point there, and then it just got squashed. Oh, well. <laughs> um, but, yeah. You know, you, you can, you, all these things here. Now, the thing is that when you let things go, um, you know, you, you're making room to grow more. You know, you can collect more along the way because you've emptied it all out, right? So what else do we have here for Illuminate the Shadow? And what I really love here is this trail of light behind him is is you know on these things that he's letting go so this is illuminating those things that can be let go of and he's choosing what to take with him you know he's still got his backpack so he can gather more things you know he's just lightened the load i suppose high priestess yeah um your intuition definitely your intuition which is in line with the eagle um And I love how the, the third eye here, the third eye here is lit in, and this connection 
this connection to this the higher realms something about the higher realms man um living light energy see the beauty in life yep see um this this here looks like a graveyard to me and you, you have this tree lit up okay this tree has connected in this tree is connected in and um and it's lighting up the whole entire it's it's an illuminating you know what is around it and in this this is all the shadows here it's even illuminating the shadows to be seen and no one's looking at the shadows to see to say oh that's really ugly like who would want to see that because in fact this is a graveyard right and these are things that are buried these are things that are buried and have served their purpose have served their life have done they've completed their mission and they're buried and everyone still appreciates and 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 loves their service to the world right and it's the same for you your shadow don't hate on it okay embrace it and love it and 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 bury it you know because and 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 appreciate the fact that it was here to serve you it, it was here to to help shine the light on what it is that you needed to work through and that you needed to let go of okay living light energy tell me more about this for cancer please living light energy cancer very interesting here cancer there's this connection though king of cups is making the connection it's vibrating out from his heart here and i feel like this is what is vibrating out from his heart see this here i don't know if you can vaguely see it it's like this is zoomed in on that this passion set your soul on fire two of swords interesting and the moon okay being aware of what is weighing you down being aware um opening your eyes for some of you it might be that you can't quite see that yet but i do want to say you've got see i've lost it now I was doing so well before um, at keeping these cards anyway. Um, here it is. Sorry. Mindful wisdom. <laughs> Tapping into this mindful wisdom. Okay. Um, that will, you, you then, you know, you'll be able to Kind of like make a decision or, or move forward. Um, because, sorry, just bear with me here, Cancer. There's something there. There's something there. It's kind of like oh, there's some sort of balance that needs to be brought about for you. Um and you're in two minds, you're in two minds about things, um, there's some sort of decision that you need to make, and you can't see the way, you cannot see the way, see here's the high priestess, this is also what I was looking for, this intuition that you need to use, we've got the moon here, and things are not clear, right, and um, I feel like connecting in is going to help to make things a bit clearer for you. Um, but I do want to say that this is kind of a bit of an act of faith as well. Because while the way is not clear, you still need to walk the path. And maybe it's the intuition that is what, this is what needs to happen. It's like you need to have that blindfold on in order to let your intuition lead the way in order for you to trust your intuition. It's kind of like you need to be thrown in it in order for you to activate it, if you like. Divine will, let go of fear. 100%. Look at this light shining down here. Let go of fear. Surrender. Surrender. 
because this is fear this could be your internal fears this could be your mind right this could be you allowing this in okay so divine will for cancer tell me more about divine will we have the seven of swords oh seven of swords and oh that's a really awful card actually look at this it's like this guy has come and plucked these feathers from the crow. And to me, it's like the crow's screaming. And no one hears him. He's sneaking off there. Some sort of... Um, oh, this could be something you're afraid of happening. Someone coming in and cutting you down. Cutting you out, cutting you off. What's this one here? And then we have the three of wands. Cool, close. Now, yeah, where's the card? Here we go. We've got three of wands up the mountain here. One, two, three, leading up the mountain. You know which way to go here. It's like you're not in this energy, you're in this energy. It's, cu it's cutting this out. This is what this is. Got it now, Cancer. It's cutting this out. And you may have to be a little bit brutal in doing that. To be like, I said no. I just told you you're not welcome here to have a cup of tea, these sorts. Out you go. Now. You know, really treating them like they're a little naughty little kid. Well, not that you really want to treat a naughty little kid like that. But, you know, it's not welcome. They are not welcome out unwelcome visitors out okay unwelcome thorns thoughts gone okay because what you want to be planting and what you want to be sprouting is a lot healthier than this kind of thing you know and and sort of like it's like diving in deep you know really diving in deep um to get away from that in a sense you know so that may be work that you need to do here, Cancer. But anyway, let's get on to the most exciting part. I just want to, okay, spread those cards out a bit nicer. Although I won't be picking them up, no, because I need to actually... I can't get just these cards because they're all on top of those other ones. Okay. Okay, Cancer, you're ready. Exciting. Council of Light. Divine orchestration. Helpers in the subtle realms. It's the subtle realms that you need to connect with. Okay, Cancer, let's, let's have a look. Let me just find this here. Okay, Council of Light. Here we go. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read out the meaning of the card to you. Okay, and then we're going to do the activation. <laughs> okay, the Council of Light is a team of benevolent beings who are here to assist the raising of consciousness on the planet. They are here to help you achieve your soul mission and are guiding you every step of the way. Yes, this is the connection. However, because we live in a world where free will reigns, they cannot help you without your permission. If you would like their assistance, it is time to ask them. They can help with all kinds of requests. Nothing is too big or small. Think of them as your personal team of helpers in spirit, in the spirit realm. They are willing to and ready to step in and get to work. What would you like help with? What tasks would you like to delegate to them? The Council of Light is a team of ascended masters, light beings, angels and guides devoted to the rising of the earth and all humanity. If you are a light worker, which if you're watching this, you more than likely are, it is from them that you receive your personal mission. Cool. Like a spirit world, United Nations, they want to thank you so much for doing this work and devoting your life 
to uplifting the planet. Pray to them for clarity and guidance regarding your personal mission. Put in your requests and let them get to work. You know, it could be cancer that you need to clear everything, um, clear your mind to let this mission come through and for it to, you know, if you don't know what it is, and if you do know what it is, for you to proceed on that. Okay, so this is pretty cool. Okay, so normally cancer, you would place the um, card on your heart and say the words out loud. But, you know, short of that, I'm going to hold the card up. So place your left hand on your heart and repeat after me. Council of Light. I am ready to receive your help for fulfilling my personal dharmic mission. Thank you for guiding me with clarity every step of the way and for sending me helpers and experiences that delight my mind, body and soul. Awesome, Cancer. Okay, so, Cancer, please come back and do this every day, okay, if not more than once a day over the next couple of weeks and obviously whenever you like, okay, um, because, and, and, and share what's going on for you in the comments if you can, um, because I am so invested in, in helping the world with this raising of this vibration with their healing with their their you know their mission and i really 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 want to see as many people on that path as possible um so you know this is why i'm doing this for free so that it can help people so please share this and um subscribe and like and do all that stuff because that's that exchange of energy right um and yeah, I don't know if I said at the beginning, but if you see any other um, activations that jump out at you, it doesn't matter if it's not your zodiac sign, please go and do those as well, because if it's calling to you, there's probably something in there for you. Okay, Cancer, so yeah, um, enjoy, and, um, and I'm really, really praying for you that this helps you. Okay, Cancer, take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.